What's up guys, I got another match here from my stream and it's against a really good friend of mine. His name is Rich, aka Inert Fury. Uh, I will be leaving his channel link in the description. You guys should all go check him out. He's got some great content. He's a very good battler. But anyways, uh, as you can see from the team preview, there is a weather war. It's sun versus rain. And I just kind of pulled some things from my Ubers box and made a quick sun team. There's really no structure to it, but uh, he's actually got one of his structured teams because Rich actually went ahead and made... 16 teams around all 16 Arceus types, so this is one of his Arceus teams. But anyways, I figured he would just want to lead off with his Kyogre because everyone in Ubers tends to lead off with their Weather Inducer. So I'm actually going to go ahead and lead out with my Palkia to force out his Kyogre right away, which is exactly what happens here first turn. Now the thing I noticed first turn is that my ability went before his, and that lets me know right off the bat that he's not Scarf, so I don't have to worry about that ruining my life. But anyways, it is the first turn. I don't feel like making crazy over predictions, so I'm just going to drop a thunder as he is going to bring in his Arceus Grass, showing me right now that he's running a, well, a Grass Arceus, like I just said. But um, I'm going to switch out here, predicting him to go for the Grass Judgment, so I'm, that's why I went to my Fortress here, as he is actually going to go for the Thunder Wave, which kind of shows me that he's a bit of um, a bit more supportive, probably with T-Wave, maybe Parish Song, something like that to you know force out people who want to set up on it. But anyways, in comes his Dialga now, as I am actually just going to go for the Volt Switch. I figured just to get some Switch initiative. If he wanted to switch out, I could switch in something appropriate to that. And if he wanted to stay with his Arceus Grass, I can switch into something there. But anyways, I'm going to switch into my Groudon to get up my Sun, and not only that, but I can uh, threaten him out with an Earthquake. But Rich sees right past that, and he makes a very good play this turn. I am going to predict him to switch out, fearing my Earthquake. But he's going to predict me to predict him switching, and he's going to go for the Draco while I go for my Rock. So that was an excellent play on Rich's part. And it now kind of forces me into a corner a little bit, because my Groudon is at a very low amount of HP very early in the battle. So I won't be able to freely get up my Sun as, well, as much as I would like to. But anyways, like I said, just because I am at a low amount of HP, I am going to switch out, and I am now going to go into my Blaziken, as he's going to predict my switch and go for the Stealth Rocks. And here... I figured because he's kind of been over predicting a little bit, he's going to continue to do that. So that's why I went straight for the high jump kick here, not really wanting to play around with it. And I actually did a damage calc after this because I am a leftovers Blaziken. Um, I had about a 50-50 chance of KOing him, so damage rolls were in my favor there. But anyways, he's going to bring in his Lugia now, as uh, I am going to just predict him to want to go for the whirlwind here, just to phase me out, which is why I did not um, set up a swords dance or anything like that here. So, go for Flare Blitz. I unfortunately get the burn, but I really don't think it made that big of a deal because after this Roost, as you're going to see, he won't get back up to multi-scale. And honestly, he should have phased me out just because I am a Blaziken, and Blaziken in the sun with a couple speed boosts is actually a pretty big threat in general. But, uh, anyways, like I said, I'm just going to keep going for Flare Blitzes because, you know, I have no reason to set up, especially if he will be able to, um whirlwind me out there's really no point in me doing that so go for flare blitz here do about 50 percent maybe a little more to the lugia um and he's going to phase me out into my palkia i believe here so nice phase out for me because i can just now pick him off with a um with a spatial rent a fire blast a hydro pump whatever i just choose to go for because that lugia is pretty much unsalvageable at this point so Yep, gonna go for a spatial run here, uh, take out the Lugia, and the Great Wall has finally fallen, which is very nice for me because I won't have to worry about that thing coming in later and tanking hits. But anyways, now he's gonna go back into his Kyogre, expecting me to be Scarfed, but um, I am not, uh, like I said before, this is my bluff set, the one with the Haban Berry. So I am able to freely drop a Thunder on his Kyogre, which is really gonna help me out because now this Kyogre is at a lower amount of HP and with Stealth Rock switch-ins he won't be able to get in as much as he wants to now but I do get the Parahax here I don't really think it mattered um, doesn't it's not like he gets paralyzed or anything but uh, he drops a thunder on me uh, from that damage he is clearly specs and I don't want to miss like a spatial render or anything I was really paranoid about that this whole battle I don't know why so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a second thunder as he is going to switch into his RC's grass to take that and here I don't really know what he was predicting. Um, I think if I switched out, I would die to rocks. So that's why I stayed in here. But uh, I'm going to go for a spatial run, and I miss, which is kind of unfortunate. But anyways, he keeps switching in here, and it's kind of bad for him just because he keeps racking up stealth rocks damage. 
And uh, again, I'm just gonna drop a thunder here because, well, Spatial Wren just missed, and that just goes to show you my um my luck in this game. But anyways, I'm gonna go for a Spatial Wren here, knowing that it's definitely gonna be enough to KO the RC's Grass from that range, and his Kyogre, if he wants to bring that in for some weird reason, that'll definitely be gone. But anyways, in comes his Kabutops now, and because the rain is up, he's gonna be faster, and I didn't feel like switching in anything really, so I'm just gonna fight around my Palkia here, so I can get a safe switch into my Groudon and get up my son. And not only that, but I'm actually coaxing him sort of to uh, go into for the low kick because his waterfall won't be doing anything under the sun. Stone Edge won't be hitting me very hard. So this gives me a pretty good opportunity to switch into my RC's Ghost to take the predicted low kick. And I should be able to get up a couple calm lines here. But I forgot about his Zekrom in the back and uh, definitely that thing is going to be his scarf on his team since his Kyogre is not scarfed. So kind of in vain this setup here, but you know, I really didn't have anything else I could do because my Groudon's at a low amount of HP, I can't switch it in on this thing. So I'm almost forced to fodder out my um, my RCs here, which isn't a real big deal because from what he has left, it's, it's not going to be as needed. So I'm just going to fire off a Judgment here, and uh, it does a very good chunk considering that is only plus one. That's like, what, I want to say like 90%, give or take a little bit, but anyways. He's going to actually get the three turn outrage here, which is kind of fortunate for me because now I can bring in my Terrakion, and this is a Choice Scarf Terrakion, be able to outpace. He can't switch out, so that means I can go right for the Sacred Sword, and I will be able to take that thing out. And the reason I did not go for close combat is because I thought he would bring in his Kabutops and might be able to kill me with an Aqua Jet. Uh, I don't know what kind of Kabutops he is. I think in the end we see he's a Life Orb set. But anyways... Uh, go for Secret Sword here. Uh, Kyogre just came in to set up the rain, basically. So he is now going to bring in his Kabutops. And this is pretty much game over here because I can just switch in my Groudon, just get on my son, and um, his Kabutops can uh, take me out with a waterfall, a low kick, whatever it chooses to go for. I guess it just decided to go for a low kick. And uh, now all I have to do is bring in my Scarf Terrakion and just lock myself into close combat. And uh, that will be the game in my favor. And yeah, so great game, Rich. Uh, I really enjoyed playing you. Um, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, that's going to be the game, like I said. So you guys should definitely all go check out Rich. He's awesome. And um, I think I will have something up for you guys Friday. Um, I think this Friday I also plan to stream with my friend Mian Chains. So be on the lookout for my channel because I'll announce a uh, stream video when we will be streaming. But other than that, I'm all done here, guys. Uh, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.